welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be testing out a bunch of new new to me Colourpop products so I picked up a couple of things that are like sort of new but not overly new they're no filter foundation and concealer which I'm going to try and I also got from the Zodiac collection which is Kathleen Lights's new collection with Colourpop which I always buy her collections I got the palette and I got a lipstick, so I'm going to try those out. The rest of this stuff is just normal things, so I'm kind of just going to whiz through those really quickly and focus more on the products that I haven't tried yet. So let's just get started. So just to quickly prime, I'm going to use my MAC Strobe Cream in Pink Light. I absolutely love this stuff. So now I'm going to test out the No Filter Foundation, which I'm so excited to try out. I bought the shade Light 50, which I think should be a pretty good match. I do have a little bit of Sultana on, but I always prefer to go lighter with my foundations and use bronzer and all of that to warm it up if I need to. Oh, it's a nice yellow colour. I like the yellowness of that. I'm going to use a damp sponge just to blend it out. Whoa, it's pretty full coverage. That is really full coverage. And I really like the finish of it. It's like a satin... It's not matte. I really just feel like it's satin... I'm going to apply two more pumps uh, to this side of my face. Normally I do like a brush versus sponge test, but I use a sponge so much because it's so much quicker and easier. And I'm just like, let's just do sponge all the way. So my skin at the moment is really, really dry. I live in Australia, so we are still in winter. And it has taken its toll on my poor old face and my whole body actually. Especially around my nose, which is where I always get dermatitis. It's flared up really badly, so I'm interested to see if it like sits nicely over the top of that. That is such a nice finish. I'm so impressed. I'm pretty sure this foundation is $12 US. Okay. I'm going to add the tiniest little bit more just to these parts of my cheeks and kind of like my chin, just my T-zone kind of area, just to see if it builds up nicely. I'll just do that on my cheeks for now. I can probably spread that. Yeah. I kind of feel like it might be a bit transfery. That's my only like thing at the moment, but I don't know yet. I haven't had a chance to let it set. Oh my God, I look terrible with just foundation. No eyebrows, no nothing else. So I'm gonna move in, I'm gonna do my brows and we're gonna start on the eyes, I think, and then we'll go back to the face after. So I am gonna use a ColourPop brow pencil, which I have tried before. This is actually a repurchase. It's just their ColourPop brow pencil in the shade Dope Taupe. I love these Colourpop brow pencils. I think they are amazing. And they cost like $5. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. We're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're on the way. Gonna move on to eyeshadow first of all I love this packaging the outer packaging is black and rose gold I love it I'm an Aries by the way in case anyone wondered what my star sign was and if you know my personality you know that I am a full bone you know that I am a full-blown fucking Aries like I completely believe in the zodiac signs and my regular star sign is Aries and my sun sign or my moon sign is Sagittarius. Anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. It has a mirror, which I love, and the shades are 
so so beautiful so beautiful and I really think I'm going to use the Pisces because I haven't swatched any of them yet oh my god stick a fork in me I am done where's that quote from if you know we are best friends when Kathleen did her video like explaining the shades and why she chose each shade for each sign I really like that she still incorporated like the two neutral mattes in there the Libra is like it has a sheen to it but you could use it as a neutral um, and then there's two colored mattes and then the rest are like foiled intense beautifulness because then you can actually create an eyeshadow I mean everyone wants their color to be something beautiful and crazy and like I love my color I feel like I should use my my sign colors no I think I'm gonna do a look incorporating the Pisces just because I'm really feeling that color I want to experiment with color and then I can do another tutorial using my little Aries over here which is beautiful beautiful and fiery just like an Aries little bitch Aries can be one of the meanest signs I feel like and we don't always mean to be it's just how we are I'm very misunderstood so the first shade I'm going to take is the Taurus which is this one right here it's a beautiful color actually and I probably should have primed my eyelids but I didn't and we are just gonna have to live with that fun little fact you guys might not know about me is that I have my Aries sign tattooed on me I got it when I was 17 and I got it illegally you have to wait until you're 18 to get a tattoo in Australia without a parent's consent actually I don't even know if you can use parents consent to get a tattoo under 18 but I went in and pretended I was 18 and like it wasn't like a totally dodgy place but the guy who does the tattoos he was just kind of dodgy he did a good enough job like because it was my first tattoo um, I picked at it and picked at it and you're not supposed to pick the ink out of it when it's healing like when you get a tattoo they scab it's like a wound on your skin but I picked it so it does have clumps missing then I convinced one of my best friends at the time she's a Leo because I remember because I remember her sign being Leo I was like you should totally get it, the same tattoo in the same place we'll have our star signs and she did it you guys if you ever want story time videos about the stuff I used to do as a teenager I'm down for that because I did a lot of crazy shits I got a huge tattoo on my rib when I was 17 as well that was done by someone who I don't know where the fuck they think they got their tattoo license from because I think it came from the gutter it was it's it was like a horror story I eventually went and got it covered up <laughs> it depressed me for so long because it was so bad so I'm gonna take the Virgo which is the dark kind of cool tone brown and just work this into the outer corner and then through the crease Keep moving like the scars aren't even there it's in the air the shades are going on beautifully which I mean I kind of expected because Colourpop eyeshadows are literally amazing. I think, yeah, I'm just going to take a bit of the Aquarius, which is a beautiful, like, I don't know, it's not a royal blue. It's like between a periwinkle and a royal, a royal blue, I would say. I'm just picking it up on that original E40 from Sigma. And I'm going to lightly dust this kind of above where I just put um, the Virgo. And you can't even really tell that it's blue, I feel like. I don't know if it's just because I'm using such a small amount over the top of browns, but I guess either way, I just wanted it to be subtle. 
just to kind of tie in when I use the Pisces. I'm just taking my sponge and kind of like swiping the corners upwards. I mean, I'm going to fix it up more with concealer in a minute, but just to like kind of show what shape I'm going for. Oh, I kind of fucked that eye up, didn't I? Okay, I am going to pick up more of the Virgo, which is that dark cool tone brown. Just add some more because I feel like the depth of it went away when we added that blue. The skin around my nose, though, is honestly so disgusting. It is so dry. It honestly is, like, thickening. Like, that's disgusting. Your skin's trying to, like, build new skin. Blech. So, I think I'm going to use a little bit of the No Filter Concealer. Whoa, I got a light shade. Ah, that's really, really light. It's the shade Light 10. I'm just going to pop a bit onto the back of my hand and I'm going to kind of cut my crease maybe halfway or attempt to. Oh yeah, I've just noticed I must have like pushed the hair out of my face because there's like two big marks where the foundations actually like come off. So it's definitely not transfer proof. That is for sure. I'm going to do one eye at a time. So I'm just going to take a Sigma Firm Shader E57. And I'm going to try use the Pisces without any Fix Plus and see how pigmented it is. But I'm, I don't know, I might need Fix Plus. We'll see. Yeah, I either need Fix Plus. I might use my finger for a, as much as I can. Yeah, see how much more pigmented that is with my finger. But that color is seriously beautiful. Okay, so I am gonna spray a little bit of Fix Plus onto my brush just to like get the edges nice and neat. So pretty. I'm just using my blending brush with no product on it to blend out the edges. And now I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Everything held you close by the stormy seas. Oh, you meant the world to me. You kiss your head when you cried for me. Hold you hand while the pain. I'm just adding a tiny bit more of the Virgo to deepen up the outer corner and kind of mesh those two colours together. I don't know about the foundation, I'm not loving it as much as I was when I very first applied it, but I want to see how other products lay on top of it. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to pop on some liner in my tight line. I'm going to put on a coat of the MAC Bold Bad Lash Mascara. And I'm going to pop on the Huda Beauty Lashes in Samantha number 7. Okay, so lashes are on, eyes are half done. Now I'm going to conceal using the No Filter Concealer. I did get a super, super, super light shade, so I feel like it's going to maybe look a little crazy, but I really do want to try the concealer, so that's what we're doing. It's going to be like the perfect color for when I'm a bit lighter than this. really impressed with that concealer. I am gonna set my face because everything needs to be set. So I'm gonna just take some Astralis pressed powder in the shade Natural and this is a Sigma F35. 
Just gonna switch to a big old, oh it's got my hair in it, a big old large powder F20 brush just for the rest of my face because I feel like this foundation is really transfer -y. transferable. Okay, to bronze up and contour a little, I'm going to take this Morphe palette. It's the 9BZ palette. I'm going to take this shade over here. And I'm using an F23 from Sigma. So this will hopefully warm me up a little bit as well to match the rest of my body. Because I am definitely a shade or too, too light. I'm going to take a bit of MAC Melba, which is one of my favourite blushes of all time. It's like a corally, matte, beautiful, dreamy blush. And then to highlight, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Sun Dipped, is that what it's called? Sun Dipped Glow Kit. And I'm going to take... I'm going to take a mixture of Summer and Moonstone. So the more yellow one and the more champagne one. Because I feel like those will go best with the eye look. Although I do actually really love this shade Tourmaline. I feel like no one ever uses it. I could be wrong. I just love how glowy these are. So beautiful. So just highlighting in all of my regular places. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my face with a bit of Fix Plus just to help, because I do have so much powder on, just to help it all melt in. I'm gonna go back in with my Sigma E25 and take the Virgo again. And I'm gonna start sort of just buffing this underneath my lower lash line and joining it up in the outer corner. Oh wow, concealer creasing. That concealer definitely creases. I mean, it's not terrible. And normally where where my lines are, I blend eyeshadow there anyway. But just a word of warning. It's the best tip for covering up your eye creases though. Just blend out your little lash line. Okay, I'm going to go in with my E40 and just take a little bit of the Taurus. Just kind of do the same thing, but bring it a tiny teensy wincy bit lower. So I'm going to take the Capricorn, even though it is full of glitter. Um, in Kathleen's video, she said you can pick some of it up and if you really tap off your brush, you're left with pretty much just black. So... She ain't lying. Not like the darkest black ever, but you wouldn't expect that from a shade with lots of glitters in it. I'm going to take that E57 that I used earlier with some MAC Fix Plus, just so I can incorporate a bit of that Pisces shade down on my lower lash line because my eyes are hooded, so even though when they're open you do see a tiny bit of it, I want you to be able to see more. So I'm just kind of not putting it in the inner corner because I'm going to put something different in there. And then just a quick run under with that E40. Make sure there's no super harsh lines. And then for the inner corner, I think I'm going to use the Gemini. It's kind of like a golden, I don't know, it's beautiful, it's gold, but it's not gold like the Leo, it's like its own kind of gold. How good am I at describing colours? Top notch. 
So I'm going to just take a pencil brush. This is an E30 from Sigma. Pick up some of this baby. I love it. I love it. Obsessed with the eye look, obsessed with the palette, obsessed. This is insanely good. I actually have this aqua coloured eye pencil from the brand Models Prefer. And it's their infinite colour eye pencil in the shade Teal Maybe. So I'm going to use that in my waterline. I'm on my own, you made it so. And then I'm going to take the little baby mascara out of this MAC mascara, which I love. I seriously love these little baby ones for low, lower lashes. Makes it so easy to get every single little eyelash. Okay, finally, I'm going to use the Luxe Lipstick from the Zodiac Collection in the shade What's Your Sign? Should I line my lips? Oh, they look so dry and hideous. So I love the packaging. I should be a good YouTuber and show you guys. Um, it's rose gold. I love rose gold. Classic, beautiful. And this nude, I think is gonna be one of my new favorites. I feel like you don't get much product though. Like, let me compare that to... Oh no, it's standard. No, I take it back. It's actually pretty standard. I did buy a new lip liner from Colourpop, but it is quite a... Oh, let's just use it. So, I love Colourpop lip products. Their lippy pencils, their lippy sticks. Their ultra satin lips are one of my favourites. Oh my gosh. I used some ultra satin lips in my last tutorial, actually. So, I bought a new pencil in the shade Toy. And it is a very, very pale nude, but let's give it a go. It's definitely paler than the lipstick, but whatever. That is... Stunning nude. I love it. And it's got little stars embossed on it too, which I didn't mention. Alright, I have to take these fucking hat ears off. My head is killing me. So first off, the foundation. I do really like it. So far, it is good. I'm going to try and leave it on as long as I can. I did not wake up that early today. I, woke, I got out of bed at like 10. I was awake at like 9. And I kept just laying in bed, being lazy. So now it's 3.30. I started filming at 1. Like, I'm not going to bother doing a check-in. But I will try and keep it on as long as I can. And do a little thing in my description box to say what I thought of it by the end of the day. But so far, I actually really like it. I just think you need to set it. I feel like it would be very streaky with a brush, but I will try it out with a brush just to see how it goes. But honestly, for the price, this is really, really good. It's really full coverage. I like the packaging. I like that it's a glass bottle. I love the little stars all over it. I love that it has a pump, but the pump's easy to control. That ticks all the right boxes. And the fact that it is so cheap. Like, you cannot go wrong. I would seriously recommend picking this up and trying it out. I just noticed it is 25ml, which most standard foundations are 30ml. But again, for the price, I don't really care. Like, you don't need that much product. It is very full coverage. So to me, it doesn't matter. The only thing I don't like is the transfer, like, the way it kind of rubbed off. But I feel like once you set it, it's not not too bad. First impressions, it's good. Anything changes, I will write it down below. The No Filter Concealer. I love this. I think this is great. I mean, I've seen people go on about how good this is for months and months and months. Like, this is not a new, new product. I do want to get a darker shade, and I mean, it's no shape tape, which you guys know is my holy grail concealer, but it also costs, I think, $6.00. So, honestly, it is really good. 
I think it would even be really good for like getting a dark dark shade and using it to contour which I love to do I just feel like it would blend out beautifully so yeah I, I really don't have anything bad to say besides the fact that it did crease under my eyes but you get that with so many concealers it's just part of life in there if there's a fold in your skin 98% of the time the concealer is going to go in there and crease with it so for the price honestly I think you can't go wrong this palette oh, I love it so much I love it more than I thought I was even going to I mean I wanted it because it looked beautiful because Kathleen designed it and I love zodiac signs I'm into all of that so I knew I wanted it regardless I just didn't think that it would be this beautiful and I really do feel like I could get so many different looks out of it neutral colorful what have you because you have these two shades I feel like she did such a good job putting those in there I just I love it I love the packaging navy blue with the rose gold I just I have no complaints about this eyeshadow palette none whatsoever I think this is insanely good and everybody needs one and then finally the lipstick in what's your sign i love it you guys know i i love the way matte lips look but i just i hate the feeling of dry crumbly cracky gross lips this is like my moisturized beautiful lip hydration from heaven i love it i feel like it's my perfect nude i really do i feel like it goes really well with my skin tone but I also feel like it would go well with most skin tones, to be honest. Sorry. I love this lipstick. I feel like it makes your lips look clump and juicy. I love the packaging. I feel like this is one that would live in my handbag. I feel like I need another one. Have nothing bad to say. How good is that when you have nothing bad to say? Ha! Oh, I love it. I'm really sorry if this video has been so long. You guys know I get sidetracked and I just talk and talk and talk and talk. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you like these styles of vi videos, like trying out new products. I <laughs> probably won't still do that many of them because, like, I'm not on that many people's PR list lists, lists, and I don't buy that much makeup myself anymore. I am very restrained now. But regardless, just let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this style of video, this eye look, this whole thing I pulled together. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Me, Life would be so much easier if I had more than two eyebrow hairs to work with. Where's my thing gone? Actually, no. Let's scratch that. But, oh my god. Did you fart, Ollie? Oh, yes, you did. Pew. That stinks. Oh, your breath is so bad.